when you find a least squared regression line, you're eventually going to be asked to interpret the slope and interpret the intercept. Um, you need to know the, concept, the, the context of the problem. If you find these numbers, it's not good enough to just find the right numbers or find the right equation. You have to know what these numbers mean. So let's start with this scenario. Suppose Mr. Mays collected data to compare the number of hours students studied at home for a test and their score on that test. And suppose that the least squared regression line or line of best fit could be shown with the equation below. So I've got score hat, don't forget to, to put the hat over your response variable. Score hat equals 52.3 plus 10.5 times your ex explanatory variable, which in this case is hours, the number of hours that you studied. So how would we explain this? Let's, let's start with the slope. The slope is 10.5, not 10.5 hours. The slope is a number, it's 10.5. Well, if we think about what slope is, okay, slope is just the same as, if we go back to algebra, slope is the change in y over the change in x. So as one thing changes, the other thing changes. Let's type, I'm going to type my answer so it's a, since it's a little bit longer sentence here. If I were to interpret the slope, I would say as the number of hours studied or let's say the number of study hours increases by one, we can expect the score on the test to increase by 10.5 points. Now, Notice that I'm using complete sentences. Notice that I'm using context in this problem. Um, some key words that need to be in here would be study hours, because that is my explanatory variable, points on the test. That is my response variable. So you need to discuss, you need to have the variables in your interpretation of the slope. Now, what about? The intercept, in this case, 52.3. Um, and sometimes the intercept makes sense, and sometimes the intercept does not make sense. In this case, the interce intercept makes sense. Um, if we got to remember what a y-intercept is. A y-intercept is when your x variable or when your x is at zero. So what happens or what, you know, what's going on when our explanatory variable is at zero? That's what the y-intercept is all about. So I would say this, um, the intercept of 52.3 means that if a student studied for zero hours, or didn't study at all, they could expect to get a score of 52.3 points. And once again, I've got the units in there, 52.3 points. It's important that all of that is included. Uh, you need to put as much context in there as possible. And that's how you can interpret the slope and the y-intercept.